bag when I have the grease on it. Okay, so first things first is the leaves. So I'm doing it like this because I want it to kind of mimic the veining in the plant itself. Here I say I'm going to do that and then it squeezes out the top. I need to get some larger bags. Well, I bought some nice bags from the um, restaurant supply, but then the tips I bought to go with it were so large that I um, had to cut the hole so big at the end. And if I try to use these smaller tips, then I can't, it doesn't work out. this off my hands. Okay. Clean the tip off. I guess I'll come from this direction. I guess that's okay. And now I'm going to take this one that it has for the little stems. Yeah, these 16 inch bags are really only good for about this much. You have to have, you have, to have a good um, amount above it to keep it from dripping out. I mean, come squeezing out the top. Okay, so I'm just putting some, some little stems on here so I can stick the flowers to it.
I'm just going from all different directions since they're just all going to be cut into bars. And this way, no matter which piece gets it, it'll um, get a um, little flower on there. And then those are going to be cut off, like I said. Yeah, I like it better with the chew tongue. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take the little flowers and stick them on there. I'll put them on the ends of the tips first and then I can go in and add them down the center and stuff. Yeah, these things are a little tedious to make, but I don't know. I just wanted to try it. When I saw that picture, I just fell in love with that picture. And it's really a cake. I mean, it's not like it's some kind of a... Um, but to me, it looks like a piece of... I mean, of course, it's a piece of art because it's a, a cake artist made it. But um, it's just... when I, I just thought it spoke to me whenever I saw the design and it being in black and white... I'm not counting because um, it said 5 to 15 flowers per stem. I don't think I'm going to sit here and count them. Maybe next time. Well, I still have quite a few, so I mean, I worked on it for a few. I used 8 ounces. Well, um, I used probably about 6 ounces of... Um, actual soap because the stuff that was left over you know the extra cuttings from it when I would use the little cutter I remolded and I will try to I'll make either little soap balls out of it for some other project or um, try to use the potato pillar and do it again you know what I mean make more I mean, I could possibly maybe do them larger, like this one. That'll probably work. I might do that next time. But these just look so delicate, like the way the plant, the flowers do.
Yeah, I think that's good. I'm going to cover up my little bit there. And I think I might just put a couple right here just because the way it's sticking up. Yeah, I think I got it. So anyway, yeah, this is it. And, um... I'll let you know how it turns out. We'll do a cutting video. Thanks. Have a great day tomorrow.